Hmm. Okay. Doctor needed armadillo. One man shot, unsure of what happened, needs medical attention immediately. Mm, we should probably go out there. Uh, aye. Uh, just you and I? Or oh, I do. Uh, huh? If there's more than just us, I would say we should take at least three. If not more. Um, well, uh, if you give us a few minutes, we mm -hmm. might be able to wrap up this report. Um, do you want to send a <laughs> telegram to the, the medical aye, line? Aye. I'll say that we're we're waiting here. We can escort him down, maybe. Or, okay. Or, Very good. or, you know, that we can go ahead of him something. Sure. Thanks for the follow. Oh. Okay, I need to do this one through the Discord. Here, puppy, just lay down over here. Oh! Shut up, it didn't happen. It like glitched under me. I looked and I wasn't gonna run over it, and then it was just bleh. Okay. okay. Uh, she did give it to you, or no? Give what? The concertina. Yeah. Okay. Well, here I'll give you this. You go buy yourself a new frying pan, okay? Oh no! I already do. I already do. I, 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 I'm a business man. Uh, I'm a chef. Saffron. Aye? We have uh, Vincent and Maple on the way down here. Okay. I know, but let me pay for it, okay? Oh, it was our mistake. It's only six dollars. Okay, here, I'll, I'll give you seven for your trouble. And I will speak with Pavis. I'm not sure why that would have happened. Uh, I said might have a there. wee bit more insight for you, Sheriff, but we can talk about it uh, after you're done speaking with him, I suppose. I even ask her if she's hungry. And she, she, maybe that's what happened. I ask her if she's hungry and say she makes the hand coffee. I mean, no, no. Okay, that is not why she did that. You were up here, you were bothering us both, you were speaking a lot, and she asked you to leave, and then you turned around and you said, What? No, you don't own the porch. And then she said, No, I can give you a lawful order to leave the porch. And then you decided to keep staying after she ordered you to leave, and then so that's when she told you, Hands up, and she handcuffed you. But and, she went through your, and she went through your pockets, aye, and then she let you go. 
She, she could... makes a rosti. She makes a rosti. It's a frying pan. Uh, the way she told it to me was she used a wee bit of creativity with one of your labels to make it appear a bit rusty. What is this? She's a bunch of shit. Why is she? Why is she doing this? I'm pretty sure she did it in lieu of finding you and throwing you in a cell. Right. Okay, Dolphy. Uh, she should not have ruined your frying <laughs> pan. It is certainly... Uh... <laughs> Not something that I try to teach people to do here, but um, <laughs> if a lawman, it doesn't matter who they are, asks you if you can leave, um, they give you a what they call a lawful order that is essentially a final warning to please do what they say because it's important. It's a one and one, it's only, it's, it's, is this not like a little warning, it's in between? No, it's a very firm warning. It's basically saying that you must adhere to the order or you will, you know, perhaps oh, be arrested okay. for it. Um, uh, we uh, we could have you charged you, fined you, it uh, sounds like. We have so. myself, Cash, and the cadet. And, uh, uh, this your uh, only, is your right. only warning for me sneaking in if the doors open. No, uh, I'm not giving you a warning for sneaking yourself. in, although I'm here. asking you not to okay. do that again. I've uh, asked you not to do that before. Now, come along with you. Who is? You are? Yeah, the door should have been closed more carefully, perhaps. Of, but um, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes okay. the door gets uh, now, wedged and we don't Zoe's realize it. Currently alone in Valentine. Who is that? Um, no, this is not Zoe. an official okay. warning. Uh, I'm just asking. This so not that's why. I, I if there's one of us who wants to go back here, there, that might be a good idea then. I have no issue going back. I have no issue coming along. Yeah, you can come in and see me. It's different from those doors if they're unlocked any time. All right. Well, if you don't mind, it would probably be ways to have another one with her. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. I wasn't sure. We weren't sure if you guys were even down here or not. I didn't even know you were here. So I came down with Benson just in case. But I have no problem heading back up there. A party of four will be pretty good to go down there. I think. I figure as much. Plus, we got the cadet for an extra tip if you need more backup. We can come down. All right. So I'll head back up to Valentine. Uh, Sounds good. We'll hold, hold that to unlock. Appreciate it, mate. Of course, sir. Things are under control. Take care. Care. Um, there was people. I'll speak to Pavis and try to figure out why that was something that happened. But either way, uh, yeah, if, again, you are given something that is a lawful order, even if you don't feel inclined to listen to it, you kind of have to at that point. Otherwise, you will potentially be put in handcuffs, as happened. Yeah, it's a hood surrealist, so Yes, they do. It's not that we wanted to do that. Nobody wants to put somebody in handcuffs, but... Uh, she, she, she treat me like I'm some kind of criminal. It's the only thing, it's only thing I'm guilty of is making some good food for everybody in the town. It's anybody who comes to visit the town. Yes, well, I do thank you for making that food, and I, I'm sure that we are all appreciative of that food, but uh, there is a lot of pressure that we are under, and there are some times where uh, we have to uh, perhaps do things that might be a little bit stern, like asking someone to leave. Yeah, oh, you just want me to leave right now? Uh, no, not necessarily. He, he's uh, talking about the previous situation. Oh. Yes. Uh, so you, you got to remember, when you're coming up to deputies and they're on the porch, lots of times we're trying to get different work done. And so when a deputy is asking you to leave, it's so that they can get work done. The porch is part of the office and that we use it for conducting business. And that is why she was asking you to, to leave, because you'd conversed with us for quite some time, and uh, you did decide to get cheeky with her. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, Dolphy, I do need to get back and help this cadet with this report, but you are welcome to sit in here if you uh, if you have something else you need to talk about. Anytime or just now? Ha! Well, right now. I'm sure that I will ask <laughs> you to leave as soon as we clear out the office, but... Um... Oh, yeah. No, it's yeah. Ice, get, ice get out of your hair now. I'm going to okay. go check on the medical see if anyone's coming. All right. Thank you, Dolphy. Right, oh, well, all right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So you, you got the telegram? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I right, we'll, we'll ride down there with you then. Yeah, I was hoping to. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything is truly that big of a deal, right? Nothing that can't be replaced. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you, Alfie the Zane. Alfie the Zane. All right, take care. All right, we've got Benson now, and uh, Lark is here. Okay, um, 
Benson and the two of you, so three. Aye. You think we're good to go down there like that? I think so. I mean, New Austin hasn't really been that mm -hmm. much. I I think it should be fine. We did a patrol down there with three earlier, I think. Let's uh Okay. So check in when you get there. We may try to chase you down. Aye, sir. Yep, we will do. Maybe next week. Okay, we're going down there with the three of us. Alright. Shoes. Oh. We gates. We gates. And shoulder gun. Ich trink, ich trink Wasser. Du trinkst Wasser. That hat good a plan if we're mine leaving. That's all my German. Benson, would you mind adjusting your saddle real quick before we head out? Oi, oh, uh, go ahead and take care of that while I send a tip. Look, your saddle is a little shiny as well. Ich verstehe you nicht. Ich bin gut, danke. Good. All right, ready to go? Yep, ready when you are. All right, let's uh, head out. Also very rusty. I'd be lucky to hail a taxi at this point. I've never ser seriously learned German. Just had some German roommates. Yeah. Aye, we're headed down that way. Right. Is the patient still there? Who's been shot? Ryder. Ryder. Who's shot? I don't really know. Okay. Well, we'll get down there as quick as we can. I'll be picking it up. Picking it up. He's real fucking bad, though. He's in a real bad way. Ryder. Ryder. Charlie, come on. We don't know. Right, picking up speed again. <laughs> ah! Watch out, it's a, it's a wolf. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> Oops. That came out of nowhere. He came out in nowhere. <laughs> Where'd Lurt go? Did she already... Uh... Okay, let's go. keep going. Oh my goodness. Where'd she go? Did she crash in the bushes or something? She might. Oh my goodness. Where's Where's Lurk? Back on the road. Don't get down. 
Oh no, she got downed. Oh, all right, I was afraid you got downed or something. Uh, we heard somebody yelling from the bushes. Oh. Are you sure you didn't hear me? Great. I was worried about you. I was wondering where you went. I had a headache coming into town. Okay. Hey, come here. You want to come walk around and see who's in town with me? Sure. Well, we know it's Caniclo shot. Uh, pulled Charlie aside. He wouldn't tell me nothing. I just asked me what happened here. Is that Caniclo? He confirmed it's Caniclo. No one ever knows what happened. Yeah. But we could just see who's in town here. Was that not Alice that was walking with them? Isn't Alice one of their friends? What's that? Alice is one of Kaneko's gang members. Right. Well, wasn't that Alice walking inside with Desmond? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Come, come help me identify her. Sure, sure, sure. You know, just to see who's here. I know that's Rook. We got Rook, we got Desmond, we got Charlie. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I shot the How sheriff. Do you? No, I choked the sheriff, actually. Yeah. That's where Sam Bass is Locked hanging these days. You choked a sheriff now? Oh! Oh! oh. Whoa! Where would you guys come from? Are you serious? I was just speaking. What did I just say? Holy sir? shit! <laughs> um. Hey, Mitchell. This is where you're hanging out now. No, I just come out here for a field trip. Where are you? Uh -huh. Yeah, we uh, we like I say, we help the needy in Van Horn. We're just like making our way across the cross and seeing, right, who, right. you know, passing out Rachel, you know, food and blankets. Good to see you again, looking as great as ever. Thank you. What brings uh, the sheriff's staff out to the west? That's uh, an armadillo. Uh, hey, someone gets shot over there by the the doctor's tents. So oh, they're fighting no. for his life, so... Yes, she's that? Stable. We got shot. Then I can. Who do you think it is? Yeah. Why are you asking me? Like, I'm sort of like a bloodthirsty savage. Out there no, I'm people. I'm generally asking the people in this I, I, not I, We've been here for like 20, 30 minutes. Haven't heard a single shot. Yeah. No, I'm just asking because we don't know, right? As much as you might think that we're the old CNI in the cross, and we're really not. Let me just wait. Maybe I can see the fella. Respectfully, the fella or gal? Mitchell, you can go into the tents and see who it is. You'll know no, I is. know I'm talking to people here. I know who it is. None of them are present for it. I know Roscoe here. What's your name and with the red hair, ma'am? Oh, my name is Dahlia. Nice to meet you. Deputy nice. Benson. Hey, Benson, nice where you been? Where you been, been, man? I've been around Valentine. Yeah, where have you mostly. been, Benson? I had all these plans for Valentine, and all of a sudden just poofed. Poof. You poofed? Gone, like Wait, the, the, po the, po the Tuesday night poker game's still going strong. I think yeah, the table's still the full. Yeah, but the circus, remember? For Valentine, all that plans, the wagon race, all that. Yeah, thing I wait, yeah what about the I circus? You're playing, you're playing with my heart now. I'm trying to meet a bearded mm -hmm. lady. You got my hopes all up. Mm -hmm. okay. We'll talk about that another time. I, did, I got I got some things I got to take care of, but uh, it was good to all see right. you guys. All right. All right. Good to see yeah. you. Yeah. I'll, I'll see you around. Dahlia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Desmond, yeah. Ruck, good mm -hmm. to see you. What? Yeah, good to see you. All right. Take it easy. Oh, nothing. Mm. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. Safe out here, right? Yeah. Hmm. Plenty. Man's playing with my only chance of love. Stay safe, oh. everyone. Good night. Deputy Benson. Oh, Deputy Benson, it's nice to meet you. My name is uh, Benjamin. What are you giving me eyes nice for? Nice to meet you. This is uh, Deputy Mitchell here. How's oh, you? Deputy Mitchell. It's nice to meet you as well. Did you happen to be around when that man was shot? There was a man that was shot? 
All right, I guess that answers that. Well, it was nice meeting you, Benjamin. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. No problem at all. You have a good one. All right, take it easy. So was that Alice in there, though? Who are you asking? Is, if, is Alice? The black hair no, with the shaved Alice. side? No, that's not uh, With the shaved side? No, that's a... Uh, that lass is... That's Sarah or something like that. Okay, that's the only She's one with I did She's with Desmond's group. She's with Desmond's group, as far okay. as I understand. And honestly, I have a hard time believing that Desmond's group didn't have something to do with this. I, I, yeah, I agree. But I just want to get a note of who's all in town when it happened, or when we got here, right? He doesn't seem like he's in too much pain. Okay. You got shot! You want your Alice that's right there, Black Poncho. Do we have any idea what happened here, or...? Hmm? We just know that uh, Desmond's grapes in time. That's about it. Okay, that's yeah, about what I expected. Mm-hmm. Every time we come down here, no one ever says anything about what's happened. Yep. I'm getting really tired of yep. uncertified doctors. There has to be at least two dozen now. Really? Because well, I don't know if it's actually two dozen, but every time, uh, every time I turn around, there's two or three more cropping up. Hmm. It's absolutely ridiculous. Does anybody know who that woman there is with the shaved side of her head, standing at all the way at the end? Never seen her before. I'm pretty sure her name's Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Or at least that's the name she's given us. Unless that's a different loss, but... So that's... So this is all who we had in town. We had... I heard him getting a piece of paper. It's Sam Bass, Roscoe, Desmond, Charlie, Rook, Dahlia, a man named Benjamin, Alice, Peter, and I guess that's Sarah. Peter is Peter Gray. I think Rook was the one that met us on the road. Yeah, Rook and Charlie were out there on the road. Howdy. Howdy. Y'all yeah, know what right happened there. to that fella? We know we got shot. Care to fill us in, Mr. Gray? I reckon whatever happened to that fella is just... A lot more madness that comes around with this crossing. What's that supposed to mean? No good luck finding your fellow. I reckon whoever he is. He's a... Uh, some kind of monster. Mr. Gray, do you mind if I take a look at your weapon right there? Both of them. Sure. Where have you been this afternoon? Been here. And I'm a dilly. Hey ma'am, can I talk to you over here please?
What are you even doing here in Armadil? I normally do, yeah. And that is? I'm, I'm not normally down here, so it's hard to, you know, know what people are normally doing. I'm stationed up in uh, West Elizabeth, so. Oh, sure, sure. Drinking my woes away. And that's just it. You've just been in town drinking this whole time. Yep. Huh. Yeah, I figure I have myself a ride out of tumbleweed. See You're... what kind of drinking there is there, and there ain't nobody there. You're about to go down there? Uh, I came from there. Jay, what you do on your way from there? I mean, you're you're coming up here, eh? Just stop along the way. See anything? Do anything? No, not that I can think of. One second. Tip ride a wagon. Did you happen to see what he was shot with? What it looked like he was shot with? Was the it? doctor had already patched it up. I you couldn't even couldn't... tell if it was a shotgun blast versus a. No, it had already been. It had already uh, been taken care of. It makes me thirsty. So the skin was pulled, pulled shut. Okay. I'm sorry. It's damn uncertified doctors. You weren't doing a hunt today. Oh yeah. You were? Sure. What were you hunting? I wasn't hunting in particular. Oh? Yeah, ran into a pale panther along the road. White as a ghost. Is that what you call your, um, Enemies, because I've never seen a panther down here. Certainly not one who's pale and white. He's oh man. Oh, you ain't never heard of the legend of the pale panther. I don't name my bar after it. I was gonna say I'm gonna be telling me your saloon was named that. Oh yeah. See the panther. Comes out of nowhere when you least expect it. When it does come down, it has a name, you see. What? Its name is the Humble Fellas. Teach them a lesson about themselves. And where did you cross paths with this panther, this peel panther? Well, you see, Shia, I done run into him twice now. Once along the road in Lemoyne, and once today. Right along the road. I done fired my gun at him. And it don't scamp it off. Which gun do you use for that? My curiosity. Hard to remember in the chaos and the feel. See the pale panther. Yeah. It looks you dead in the eyes. You see who you really are. Not quite a complete image of who you are, but jumbled mess. Something you gotta make heads or tails of. Like a right old mystery. How'd you get injured there? Looks pretty recent. Well, sure. Yeah. Panther, get hold of you. Oh, yeah. Got hold of me real good. 
Do you let Lark here take a look at that? Because it looks like it's still dripping. She could probably patch you up pretty well. But all right. Once I ain't been watched for doctors. Hey, but, you know, she's here and everything. I'll even pay for the treatment. I ain't interesting. Mr. Gray, I've got reason to detain you for just a wee bit longer. Look into some things. So, if you don't mind, I insist. Sure. Why don't you have a seat over here and she can treat you? For that panther wound. Sure. Dude, this is so good. I'm just going to ask you folks to give us a little space. We'll send Peter over to the salon when we're done with him, okay? I'll make sure that he's uh, well taken care of from right here. We're actually going to ask you to clear away while we speak with him, sir. What was your name, by the way? This is Charlie. Charlie, my. Charlie's a good guy. He's all right. Come on, Charlie. Just give us a little space, please. Sarah? Thank you. Charlie. Thank you. Dude, this Hang is on, so Shannon. cool. Let me have a seat now. Well, you're real fidgety to get at me. She's just doing Yeah, job. well, you're bleeding. I reckon there's more to it than that. I bet you got a crush on me. Oh, I bet. You keep thinking that. Everything okay? Yep. Just, just gonna check on things. Uh, yeah, we're just asking you to give us a little space here, okay? Is everything Peter's, all right? Peter's just being looked at by the doctor. I'm gonna, we're going to ask him a few questions. Everything's fine. All right. All right, yeah, thank can you. Can I stay here, or...? No, I just asked everybody to clear out. All right. Thank you. Uh, do you know where they went? I, I asked them to go inside the saloon, but saloon. I'm not sure. I think they went in the saloon. Sarah and Charlie. All right, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Never um, seen a wound like that caused by a uh, cat, Mr. Gray. I didn't say it was a cat. I said it was the pale panther. Okay. And where you really haven't me. heard the legend of the pale panther now, have you? I'm afraid I don't hear too many legends from outlaw circles anymore, Mr. Gray. Oh. Pale panther comes in many forms, yeah. Sometimes it is quite literally a panther. Sometimes it takes other shapes. Mr. Gray, you've worked with us before, right? I might have. You know that we can be pretty reasonable if you work with us. So I'm going to ask you a question here. And I'd like to have the truth of it and we can work with you on it. Because I know that there is a lot of bloody conflict and war going on in this crossing right now. Were you the one who shot Kaneklo?
And I'd really, really like to hear you man up to what you've done. Running and hiding isn't a good look. Did you shoot him? It's Kaneko, that pale panther. Or one of them. Makes it easier on a lot of different people if you just let us know the truth. I suppose some things ain't so easy, Shia. Most things in life aren't. Today. Hey Desmond, is that you? Just making sure my friend's okay. He's fine, yeah, Desmond. Desmond. We're having a conversation. We're just back here talking. I just cleared everybody out. But uh, he's gonna be just fine. We're just talking. Just... I understand. Then get gnawed by no wolves. Apparently a pale panther, but uh, getting to the bottom of that. Oh. So with a, a elusive animal, apparently. This pale panther wasn't a cat. The panthers then, tend to be. Mr. Gray. What was it? Because yeah. yeah, you've given me plenty here. Gun. What well, I can cut off charges. It does depend on you. The truth wheels its way out anyways, Mr. Cray. Can we for once treat each other all with respect? Both sides with a badge. Take it easy with that. Wait for an answer. Mm. 
what you think. I mean, I think it's very clear that he did it. Mm -hmm. I think you're right on the money. We've got all but an admission here. Do you think it's enough to charge him? I'd say yeah. Alright, I just want to make sure that I've got more than one than just my own opinion here. Problem is what those winds lined up behind us might do. Yeah. Uh, if anything, get Lark in the office first. Hmm. Be fine eventually. Rats. This is gonna be a mess. Saying Kaniklo got shot, huh? Oh, because it's a surprise to you now. Yeah. Real surprising. Really? Yeah, there were some wolves around here earlier. I remember shooting at them. I hope I didn't hit that fell on the crossfire. Pat there is to wolves, huh? Yeah. Would you mind coming over to the office with me when you're done with treatment there, Mr. Gray? Depends on if you give me a choice. Well, I'm asking it nicely right now. That's always how it works. Hmm. And if I got something better to do, you're gonna ask me again. Not so nicely, ain't ya? That is the way it works, sir. But I'm offering you respect and dignity at the moment. I can always write up a warrant and let you run off into the desert. We found eventually. Or you can admit to what you've done. Make it easy on yourself. Get it over with. And have just that much more freedom to protect the people that you care about when the crossing is being torn by war. Fade for mm. your thought there. Right now, I'm looking at a man who um, was taken away alive, it seems. Situation I don't know too much about, as he said. Could have even been somewhat accidental. But I'm not too hearing too much clarity. I, I suppose some things so. tend to remain a mystery, though. Or maybe not too much of a mystery. That depends, yeah. Trying to put me in a cage. You wear yours on your shirt there. Oh, don't call this a cage. Yeah. It's something I've worked very hard to get. I suppose we all work real hard to find ourselves in cages now. Uh, I, I mean, I don't agree. I suppose it's a matter of perspective. <laughs> I 
I guess you can say that about anything. That's quite literally correct. So again, will you come over to the office with me, Mr. Gray? Tell your friends that they can go sit down in the saloon and have a drink while we work this out. I suppose so. I'm not sure what else there is to work out. Lead the way. Peter? It's all right. What's the situation? Gonna have a chit chat. We're gonna have a chit chat. You heard it from him yourself. He's walking over here with us. All right, would you put your hands up first before walking it? Okay. Oh, come on, don't search me in front of my friends now. I'm going to be Peter. Are you okay, Benson? Here. Yeah, I'm here. Can you take this? I was just, I was just keeping them company. Eh? One moment, Peter. And if I take a look at those books you've got. Sure. You can hand them to me if you want. Interesting that you can hand them to me. Thank you. All right, Peter. Here's what I'm very certain happened. You encountered, either by chance or by design, can eat clothes. Somewhere between here and Tumbleweed. Because your groups are warring with one another, you decide to shoot him down. Benson over here. Now, what reason would I have to shoot Kaniklo down? Kaniklo runs with Kettleman. And you're very much not Kettleman's friend, are you? That would be true. But then again, Kaniklo ain't Kettleman now, is he? You'll but admitted it to me. I've got enough evidence to charge you. That would be assault with a deadly weapon. Well, if you're so certain now. I'll tell you this shit. I made no bones ever. By who I want dead. Jack Kettleman is the motherfucker's blood I'd like to bathe in. That doesn't mean that you don't want to poke holes in those around him, though. Oh, you'd be very wrong about that, yeah. But you seem so certain. Well, if you want to tell me about the situation, we can discuss it. Did he attack you? Did he come after you? Want to tell me exactly what happened? Because right now, here's what I deal with, Mr. Gray. As every day we hear about stuff happening down here gunshots, people getting into these skirmishes. 
And every time we come down, we try and help people on either side. And nobody wants to one. say a word. We can't get a word out of anyone who was involved with Woot. So we're forced to look from the outside in and make what charges we can. Right now, I see that you have sold Kinect Glow with a deadly weapon. If you want to tell me something different, then please do. Certainly depends. Paint me a picture. I'm a fella who likes his assurances. Forgive me if I'm not following exactly what you mean by that. Well... What if it's as you say? Maybe two fellas was having a friendly chat. And? Maybe someone pulled on someone else. And the other defended themselves. What would you make of that idea? Last thing's off an hour. Self-defense can happen. There's something that happens. Suppose so, you wouldn't go charging a fella who committed the assault. Maybe go looking for him. Maybe put a wanna post out for him. If someone has genuinely defended themselves, then I we do not go charging people for that. I mean the assailant, of course. I see you with a gunshot in your shoulder, Mr. Gray. And a man who was doing very poorly when we arrived. Bleeding out in the sand. It's very hard to judge from the outside perspective who might be the assailant. assailant but uh, when one's left standing on their own two feet. It sure doesn't cast a pretty uh, picture over their involvement. So this assailant, man, you would go putting a warrant on him, go chasing him down. Am I hearing that right? Law here, lots of things from lots of places and the crossing. I've been here in town and outside there's passers-by who send us information. Day in and day out. We don't go revealing what we got from who and what. I wasn't asking uh, for you to reveal something. I'm just asking we that... Uh, justice it, for everyone, Mr. Gray. I see. Even a dirty, low-life, rotten motherfucker like myself, is that right? Because when you haven't committed a crime, you're still worthy and allowed the same protections afforded to everyone else. That is something that will remain constant. Believe it or not, we're not one to bend rules just because someone's committed a crime in the past. Mm. So let's say that uh, the defendant in this hypothetical scenario, of course, was to say that uh, the assailant uh, misfired, that they don't want to press charges. Would you still go after said assailant? No, if that was certainly the assertion put forward, especially by the only people uh, saying what happened. We only go off the information that we've got. that makes sense it does I reckon you would need confirmation from both parties then Jeff how to cash that is that right helps. that certainly how helps mm. how's everything going uh, it's going right actually if I could have a word with you sheriff over in the corner sure um, Someone... you want to step outside even uh, aye that would probably be a good idea 
Patty. Patty? All right. So we get down here. Kenny glows bleeding out in the sand. Um, people in town is Desmond's group and Peter Gray. Gray approaches us and starts talking sort of metaphorically about everything. Um, like, ask him what he's been up to this evening and he says that he's just been in town drinking here in Armadillo and then he switches it to Tumbleweed and then uh, uh, asked if there? I could feel his weapons if they were warm and both were. I want to speak with him. Asked if he'd done any sort of... S Hello? <sighs> Great. Howdy? Hey. He is still in there and we're discussing things with him. I'd ask you to please go back to the saloon for now. And I could, and I could definitely answer what's going on here. You got him in there. Well, what y'all talking about? We don't what's discuss other them? people's stuff. Wait, let me Beat talk with him. Street. He already right, told you a few I'm times. Having a little chit -chat. Is that all it is? Well, no. I'd just like to know. If it was different, what would you do? What does that mean? That means exactly what it means. I mean, it, it ain't your business. The longer you're over here, the longer it's going to take for him business. to get released. It's most definitely my business. Okay. Well, right now you're interrupting what happens. Right now I'm trying to understand what's happening, and right. you so, being so here for so so the whole endeavor. So am I trying to understand? Well, I'm trying to understand exactly what the fuck is going on here. He just told you he was fine inside. Okay. Yeah. Well. We we kind of yeah, exactly coerced him to see that. So. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 real funny. <laughs> I just want to understand what y'all's uh, y'all's vision is here. Y'all all coming in here. Was this a Cisco transport? Has he done something wrong? We are discussing things with him right now. I can't even give you a def definite answer if I wanted to at the you moment. can or you won't? I can't. Mm. That's what everybody and says. I also right, won't. Boys. Everybody says it cannot. We just working some things out. Right. If you just give us uh, at least 10 more minutes so we can discuss, then uh, perhaps you can come back and maybe we'll have a better answer for you. But uh, I just arrived here. And, um, right now, I'm trying to discuss with my deputy. So the longer that we have to entertain your questions, the longer it'll take for us to come up with a real answer. I love cash so much. Is he being Would it be all right, please, if I spoke with him? He can speak just for a minute. Once he's done. Just for a moment, please, Saffron. It won't take but a minute. It would really put my mind at ease. Um, look, it, it will be another the, five or ten minutes before we can give you the range. answers you need. As soon as we get this figured out, you can talk to him all you like, okay? Uh, just give us a little bit of time so at least I can even catch up and understand what's going on here. I, I mean, is 10 minutes going to kill somebody here? 10 minutes going to be a lifetime. It won't be no one's lifetime. I, I'm happy to buy you the whiskeys if you need them. Uh, please just give me a little bit of time to figure out what the answers are so I can give you an answer. I mean, he's not in a cell right now. He's not in handcuffs. Hey, he's, not... he's standing in there chatting. He's literally leaning against the wall. And he's told you himself that he's fine and that we're just talking. It's the range. I'll see you, uh, I'll see you in 10 minutes, Cash. Thank you very Cash much. Cash is the coolest. Right then. certainly does raise suspicion. He essentially said that he came across a pale panther, which he characterized as a very sort of metaphysical force. That a pale white panther, which I he might have shot and it scampered off. Which, I mean, I've, I fully believe that he shot Kaniklo. Uh, he's now launched into asking, all right, well, ha hypothetically, if there was two people and they were having conversation and the other one drew, what he's driving at now is he doesn't want to admit to it or say even that Kaneklo attacked him uh, for fear that we're going to go after Kaneklo for it and then people are going to know that he said something. That's essentially what I'm understanding from the situation now. He's speaking very vaguely. 
and uh, using metaphor and <sighs> he's he's partially admitting to it, but he's he's keeping stuff very metaphorical. I told him I felt comfortable charging him with assaulting Kaniklo. But I did tell him that if it was in self-defense, I we wouldn't be charging him for self-defense. So but he don't want to admit to it being self-defense either. No. Uh, he, I, I might be able to have a bit further words with him. He likes to hear himself speak and he keeps on saying more and more. But, uh... Okay. Sorry Have we that. talked to these other three? Were they here? Are they witnesses at all? Did they want to They are all want to be very uh, intimidating and stepping in. They're part of Desmond's group. There was five of them all clustered around. It took everything we could to get them to walk away from us. Um, they yeah, might they want to start something. Peter yesterday. Mm -hmm. They might want to start something. I've seen I've seen at least the the last uh, thieves landed and stuff before. Okay. Uh, so what advice do you need from me? Just general feel in the situation because I was gonna see if we could charge him but I was gonna ask him seriously if uh you know because we were pretty outnumbered here if he'd serve time for it peacefully or if I'd have to write a warrant over it because well, they're not clustered around us like they were but it was looking like it could get pretty dangerous just uh, a few minutes before you came sir was the man when we rode in on, on the horse with the long black hair, is that James Kelly? Uh, I did see someone with long black hair, I can't say for sure. I couldn't mm. tell if it was James Kelly, I wondered no. the same thing. I, I also wondered it, but I didn't get a good look at him. He had a similar hat, I think. Because he's wanted, I believe. Because he did, <laughs> Grey brought it up, so if I did see, you know, if hypothetically it was a... Uh, self-defense then you'd want to confirm that the other party i think what we're dealing with is a case of not wanting to be implicated in any way of seeing anything about the other side because that's consistently oh. what we deal with when coming down here to armadillo yeah, no, one no, wants one, to fucking talk. no one will breathe a word about the other side even if they just got shot up by them where's kaniklo at this time uh his group came and they picked we couldn't even examine his wounds some some other doctor got here. I, I was asking Lurk what sort of shot he was shot with. She couldn't even tell because they covered him up and, and took him out by carriage. So we can't even hmm. ask Kaniklo. Did you see another doctor took him? Oh. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I saw Alice and I saw a carriage. I saw a few others. Is that, is that Dr. Twin Rocks that provides you know, discreet medical services? So something to keep in mind. I didn't see which way the carriage went, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that person is around this time of night, though. I think they're more early in the morning. It's definitely a strange situation, to say the least. Well, um, I will trust your judgment here, as you've spoken with him collected all the evidence that you have so whatever you feel comfortable with you go for um, I will back that decision um, if you want my advice I will give it um, but I, again I have limited wisdom here I, I mean I would like to hear your advice uh, what I would like to get is a defined statement from him if he'll give it he might not mm -hmm. and, that's what I would do I, I would push mm -hmm. him to see if he will give you something and if he continues to refuse, I would probably not charge anything. Okay. Hope we can catch up with Kuniklo, get something from him later. <laughs> I doubt we're getting anything, but... Like, yeah. It's just... It gets so tiresome never getting anyone anything from anyone. It's why are we even bothering trying to help these people sometimes, you know? Right. Yeah. But how is it that we come by Mr. Gray in the first place? He walked up to us and started kind of... Pester. strange state of mind having a conversation with us that's why I got suspect of him in the first place because they're all lingering around but he's the one who came walking right up to us and started talking yeah and he's yeah, responded it... to, to me but he's again kept everything very metaphorical okay wait again uh, mm -hmm. whatever you decide whatever you're comfortable with uh, that, that is your call to make Okay. 
But um, I think I will go talk to them other three over there, see if I can't cool Alrighty. those temperatures down a little bit. Do you want one? Do you want someone to go with you? We, we can come with yeah, you. Yeah, we can go. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, I'll stay in here. Yeah. Can't say <clears throat> Never. Oh. I'll find the right <coughs> place where that fella was. Sure thing. Uh, Saffron, he just told me to come inside. Okay, that's fine. Alright, Peter, I... Like you asked, if there's a case of self-defense, we want to support people's right and ability to defend themselves. But to be able to real, rule something as self-defense or as a shootout or whatever it is happened, I need to have some sort of defined statement of events. Do you require that from one party or both? It really depends. In this case, we're very unlikely to get from both parties. I reckon you're right. And if that were the case, y'all still gonna charge me anyway. I didn't say that. I would like to hear what you have to say as being what actually happened without all the metaphors, without the talking in circles. Mabel. Yeah. Just me, one person, meeting another person and talking about what really happened. Sharing a wee bit of truth. Because the truth I know is that I wasn't there. I didn't see what happened. Sure. Well, I'm afraid I ain't no preacher. It ain't no church house. Oh, that's not I, what I'm looking for, Mr. Gray. Yeah, well, I'm sure I ain't got no gospel for you. Maybe one day I will. So you're saying you've got nothing further to say on the subject? Yeah, Kira. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, Mr. Gray. I think you did it. I think that you probably make an equal and you probably shot him because, again, your groups are against each other right now. I mean, I'd like to believe that you did defend yourself, but again, I'm not getting any sort of definitive statements from anyone. So because I believe that you did it, I will be investigating it as if you did it, which does mean reaching out to other parties and postulating different uh, possibilities, if at all possible. That's what I was trying to get out for him from your shell. Either you hear the truth and you leave it be. Well, if, if there's been a crime committed and I hear that truth, Mr. Gray, I can't just walk away from it. But I can work with you over it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be letting you go today. Well, that doesn't mean that we won't be following up with it. You understand? Give me a moment. Sure. Oh my goodness, what is this? He's thinking about something. Interesting. Interesting. He's thinking about something. Oh, I did have his right. Lost Grand's has been tactile pad. Well, let's say things were real simple now. Aye. Right. Let's just say, uh, and this is not exactly what I'm saying, but hypothetically, if fella just shot a fella, 
drop all your investigating. You just give a fella some time. Is that right? My, if we have an admission from someone that they shot somebody. And if it was more convoluted than that, like someone pulling, or someone defending themselves, you'd all get to investigate now, wouldn't you? We like to try and ask, but we can also be, and often are discreet with things, we'll simply go to the other party and ask him what happened. If they're not going to corroborate or confirm anything, then they're not going to do it. At that point, there's not too much else that we can do if we don't have any other witnesses coming forward. What's a, f what's a fella looking at for assault with a deadly weapon? Uh, let me take a look at my book here. This is kind of cool. I didn't think that he was going to... Huh. No, Peter... That This is great. But can we get a shout out for Grave Gamer, by the way? Grave Gamer TV. He is playing Peter Gray. And he is doing really cool. Cool RP right now. I'm really enjoying this. Well, Mr. Gray, assault with a deadly weapon carries a maximum time of thirty-five dollars and a maximum fine fine of nine. Or, sorry, a maximum time of thirty-five days and a maximum fine of ninety dollars. Uh, you've been speaking with us for a while, so uh, if you were to get such a charge. Uh, it wouldn't be too much longer that you'd be here in the cells with us. Well, as far as assurances go... You drop it all right now if a fella make it real simple for you now. Is that right? I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? You drop your investigation all right now, if a fella made it simple for you now, right? Aye, if you made it simple for us, we don't really have too much more to do. Oh. Then I shot Peniclo. He didn't pull his gun. He was just standing there. Sounds like you had it all figured out from kid. We Warren and I guess I'm kind of fellow who weighed Jack Kittleman's family like he does, I guess. You guess. I know, I guess. Matter of fact, me and Jack Kittleman ain't so fucking different nowadays. Somebody got to turn into that monster to show him a disgusting fucking reflection of himself. So here I am. Really? You think that's the way it works, Mr. Gray? I think that... I think y'all have no other fucking solutions to provide me, so I'm coming up with the best ones I can. And of all the things done in that fell in this crossing, this is the only solution that makes any lick of sense. So I shot Caniclo. It was cold-blooded. I did it for, because he looked at me funny. to think that there's more to it than that, Peter, but if that's all you're giving me. Stupid car! Yeah. It's all I got left for you, Cher. Wish I was that preacher. Like I said, I'm not looking for a preacher to be, Mr. Gray. Well, after all this said and done, I reckon I'll need one. Exercise the filth I'll become. There's always a path back, Peter. I know. But I got more carving to do on this path, yeah. Glad it wasn't just me who was scared about that. <laughs> right, Peter Gray, I'm going to be charging you for assault with a deadly weapon against Canadian. Um, get you your final time 
and uh, you're fine in a moment. But if you wouldn't mind sitting the Sally. I wouldn't. to do all this paperwork. Okay, I'm gonna... break down the fine and give him 15 minutes. Yep. Alright, Peter Gray, you've been in here for a while. I'm gonna give you another 15 days and I'm gonna charge you $75. Thank you, Shia. Appreciate you doing your good work, man. You're doing a fine job. So he's in there. Hi, he's in there. Did he? He admitted to, to shooting him. And he didn't want to say self-defense. No. He's very keen on this. Not looking a whole lot further into stuff. Shit. Uh, all right. Um, can his friends come talk to him? They are very eager to come speak with him. Uh, they could probably. Use speak to him through the wall i mean if you want to let them in here i guess you could let's move him to the other cell maybe okay he's only so in there for 15 the days okay i'll go let him know uh, uh saffron can i get you for a moment before we move him uh I'm... do you plan on returning his weapons to him i can guarantee that he shot kaniklo with the shotgun you can guarantee that he shot with the shotgun yeah it's missing a shell and it's it's got you know gunpowder residue all over it Okay, we'll take just that one. Okay. Okay. I need to tag stuff. I, I need to get the paperwork started on this. I haven't done anything. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the most recent tip, uh, you should probably take a look at it. Well, we can only get up there as we can. Um, yep. Peter? Yes? Uh, your friends are outside. They'd like to speak to you. Um, if you don't mind, we can move you to the other cell. They can speak through the window to you if you like. Sure. Here, I'll unlock the cell door. Good evening. Deputies? Deputies? Hi. 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 Okay, just a moment. I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on. Sorry, I just looked at Peter one moment. Can you hear me? They're riding. Was that Still. them? Still. Can you hear me? Fine, well, alright. I'm only in here for 12 days. You got shot. Uh, he used the shotgun. That's what, uh... Oh my goodness. They must have just ridden through. Goodness, what a shift. That was some good RP though, man. Stop running. Who is it? Hey, Deputy, I've got an important question for you. All right, what's that? Uh, 
Uh, do you see this canyon? Do you think you can make the jump? No, probably not. Are you though? That's a pretty good question. Let's cross the sheriff department. Stop the horse. Don't you? Don't. Stone. Ah. Ah. Anything else? No. All right. I'm gonna help you up. Get it. I can sort it. All right. I got stuff. All right. Can you ride with one back to town? Mm -hmm. you, okay, here with Cash. Cash, you all right? Or, uh, yep. or did everyone else go? Mitchell's got one in the arm. She should be okay. I tied it off for her. This fellow's uh, shot in the chest. Um, we're gonna need to get him uh, to see Lark. I had to shoot okay. him. He started shooting at me. Uh, doctor's office. I can fucking deal with it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna stay here with you guys. I'm gonna go check on here. the ears. Uh, come here real quick. Just lift his hands for me. <laughs> lift. Um. Like carry him? No, just lift his hands up. He's covering his wound. Look, sir. I'm just gonna clean it out. And then block the bleeding so we get you back there before you bleed too much. No, Jesus. I don't think I am. All right, Zoe, oh, Zoe. Uh, I, I just get a fucking call. Uh, Tenta Mitchell. Can you see right? Control your horse before we both get hurt. Saffron, you okay? We got one on the arm. I, I don't know who it was. I think it's the Red Mask, the Red Hood gang, whatever. <laughs> Face down the dirt. Uh, embarrassing. But uh, I'm all right. I'm all right, though. Thanks for, thanks for checking. Thanks for checking, though. Okay, it's going to have it, but I'm just going to tie another bandage. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it just needs to be ready tied. Okay. Sam, we need Lark hey, like, as soon as possible. Me, I'll, we'll get yep. this guy back to the cells. Yeah, get him on the back of my horse. I'll take him into town. Yep. <sighs> All right, we're all together. <sighs> all right, let's go. Is your arm the only place to hurt? I think so. Okay. Okay, let's get you back. Alright, come. Cool. Watch your bench. I'm feeling it. Late headed, can I raid with someone? Yeah, yeah, yeah of on. course. Yeah, come on. Oh, right, that's on, I have his journals. Cash it. I think he took the fellow. Cash, you okay? No, hey, yeah, I'm alright. Okay. Zoe, stay with him. I'm gonna bring her back. Alright. Alright, hold on. Gonna be alright, alright? I don't know how many people are. Was it just him and was it just Cash and I shooting at him? You see that I split him up? Huh? You see how I split him up? 
Uh, no, I, I didn't. I barely knew what was happening. I gotta follow and the, the tracks and cut them off. Close and he started shooting at me. Yeah, we broke him off from his friend and uh, they panicked. What? Oh. Ow. Is Lark right. still here? Uh, I told Sam to get her as soon as possible. But it does sound like you were there, right? You knew he didn't get robbed, huh? No, I didn't say that he was robbed or not. I just said robbed. I got you. I don't. All right. I, I, I haven't heard anything about a sheriff's deputy being robbed by by me or any of my men. But you know there All are right, people. You, you know there are people impersonating us, right? Can we? I'm gonna. Have to, I'm gonna. I gotta uh, put him just, in there. Yeah, just put him right here. Imagine. Put him on the ground here. He can stay tied up for the time being. Drop me on my head for all I care. Just get him help. Okay. I don't care about me. Just get him help. Uh, you're gonna stay tied up for the time being. All right. I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm Peter. certainly not going anywhere. <laughs> I had a question for you yeah, before I ran out. Okay. okay. Are you not listening though? That's fine. Ah, just throw it. <sighs> can throw it. Let it. Let it be noted I didn't draw on any of you. Alright. Noted. So why don't you start by telling me your name? No, what is it? What is it? Okay. I'm sorry, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's Jason. Wh which gun did you use? Can you let me know which one you used? My Navy. My Navy? Mm-hmm. Dawson. And was the shotgun missing a shot? No. <laughs> no, Shane. <yeah. laughs> I'm just asking. Oh, why was it? Mm -hmm. I ran into uh, yeah. some animal trouble along the road, getting that wagon. Okay. So, really, before, you quite... up, before you, before you do, before you thank you. Me from, I wanna, I wanna All right, yeah. You if you, if you're gonna put me in cuffs. Until, yeah, okay, oh my god. Uh, can you, hi. can you, somebody hear me out, fucking hell. All right, All right we're listening. I, I just want to ask for the respect of you guys leaving my mask up until such a time where you're going to charge me or you have proof of something to charge me with. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take this mask down, okay? I'm going to take it right down. While you're in the while you're in the office, there's no masks. All right, and pull this hey, right down from you. Are you sure you want to do that? I'm positive. Remove the mask. Keep it on your mouth, Philip. I'm gonna remove it for you. There Which we go. One? But I wouldn't know who he's dealing with right now, in case he tries. Uh, he's in cuffs. Right. I'm a little bit upset. Yep. Saffron, do you want me to take a look at that? It's wrapped up. Wait for alert. Can he not remove it okay. in cuffs, is what you're saying? You're gonna have to loosen them. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna loosen the cuffs while I, um... Can I have your names, please? Deputy Benson. No, uh, you should already know mine at this point, three. In that question there you are. Terms. All right, I'm gonna remove the mask. This is so fucking disrespectful. Okay. And the hat, please. I didn't... I didn't even know how the fuck that happened. Thank you. Here. All right. There we are. Thank you very much. All right. Cash and Zoe have not returned yet. Thank you, Shia. Okay. Uh, I remember where we were if you want me to head back out there. Neither of them were injured. Oh, they should be back by now. Okay. All right, I'm thinking too. Ah. <sighs> Uh, Benson, go with, uh, Maple out there. Go try to find Cash and Zoe. 
Alright, just wanted to get a good look at this guy. Uh, Cadet, you want to go with them, please? Uh, yes. 